Are you ready? Let's do this. So we have drill down, drill through, expand down, mind-blowing at the beginning but what they all have in common is that they let you explore in depth more details about your data now let's have a look at drill down first so the first thing that we need is a hierarchy and the most common one that you will find is a date hierarchy where you have the year the quarter then the month but this can also be product category subcategory then the product so in this visualization we're going to first use the date hierarchy so i'm going to create a bar chart and I'm gonna take over here from the dim date table, the date field, let's put it onto our visualization. And you see it creates the date hierarchy automatically for us. I want to analyze sales. So I'm gonna go here to my metrics table and I'm gonna drag total sales onto my column values. Now that we have our visualization, you see that here in the top right corner, we have different buttons and they let you drill down, drill up, expand down. Now let's have a first look at the drill down feature. Turn it on just by clicking on it. And now if I click on one of the bars, I will drill down to the next level in the hierarchy for that year column that I click on. So let's, for example, take 2020. I'm gonna click here on this column and it drills down the year 2020 to the next level in the hierarchy, which is quarter. So therefore I now see the sales values for quarter one and quarter two. Now, if I want to go back up, I can simply use the drill up button over here. All right, so then what is this button that we see right next to it? So here we can also go to the next level in the hierarchy. And now we have quarter one to quarter four. However, not for one specific year, but for all of the years added up. Okay, so when we have here quarter one, this is the sum of all the quarter ones in the years 2018, 2019, and 2020. Okay, now this might not be what you're looking for. Now, so let's go back up by drilling up and let's click now on the next button. Expand all down one level in the hierarchy. And you see that now we have still the year information in there and the next level in the hierarchy, which is quarter. So it combines the two. So we don't lose any information about the year. So we have quarter one to four for 2018, 2019 and 2020. And also here, if I want to expand further down one level, I just click on it again and I go to the next level, which is the month. Okay. And if I click on it again, I would go to the day level. And also here I can drill up to go one level up in my hierarchy. Now this also works with different hierarchies. Okay, so let's take the product hierarchy as an example. So I'm gonna take out the date hierarchy. Now I'm gonna go to my dim product table. For product, we didn't create a hierarchy yet. But what we can do is drag on product category, subcategory, product name, one by one, and it still lets us drill down to the next level that I put on the axis. So let's start off with product category name. And then I'm going to put in product subcategory and then also product name. Now that we have our fields on the axis, you see we have the drill down buttons at the top right corner. And I can go over here to drill down, for example, on the audio column. And now you see we have only those subcategories that fall into the product category audio. Now let's drill back up. And now I'm going to use the expanse down button okay so now we have all of the subcategories concatenated with the different categories so you will see over here we have computers projectors and screens first the category computers then the subcategory laptops so you don't need to create an explicit hierarchy in your data model for this to work however it makes things a lot more convenient instead of dragging all three fields separately we could create a hierarchy and then just drag the hierarchy onto the axis. So let's do this. So over here to create a hierarchy, you just take the subcategory name, put it onto the category name, and this will already create the hierarchy for us. And it leaves the original fields in place. Okay, so it doesn't replace them. Now we also want to have product name, so we can drag and drop it onto the hierarchy. Or you just click here on the ellipse right next to it and then add to hierarchy 
for the category name hierarchy and it will also be added to our hierarchy. Now, of course, in the end, you want to rename it. So let's double click on it to rename it to product hierarchy. So now that I have my hierarchy, I take away all of the fields that I put on my access. And now I can simply click on product hierarchy. And there you go. Now I did exactly what I did before, but just with one click. So not necessary, but it makes stuff a lot easier. Okay, so let's give this a try. I'm gonna expand one level down. We have the categories as well as the next level in the hierarchy, the subcategory name. However, you don't see these nice buckets where we have one bucket for computers, then one for audio, etc. Now to do this, you need to go here to format. Then we go to the X axis and you have to scroll down over here to concatenate labels. First of all, this needs to be off. However, somehow it's still concatenating the labels in our visualization. Now, this is because you need to do a second thing, and that is you need to sort on the product category subcategory. So go to the top right corner and make sure that you sort by, not total sales, but product category name and subcategory name. And now we have clean buckets, one for computers, cell phones, audio, with all the corresponding subcategories. Just like we had before, we have the years, quarters and months, just makes it look a little bit clearer. Okay, so if we use the drill down feature on a specific visualization, what does this do to all of the other visualizations that are in the same page in a report? Now for this, let's have a look at a different page in a report. Now here we have a similar bar chart as before. However, I also added some other visualizations to it. For example, here we have a tree map and some cards. Now if I go to my bar chart and I turn on drill down, and let's say we want to drill down on quarter two, then this also filters all of the other visualizations that are inside of my report. You saw the tree map changing and also the two cards changed. Now, if I drill back up, you can see it again. There you go. Now, but what if you only want to drill down this specific visualization? All right, then you have to go here to data and drill. And here you find apply drill down filters to either the entire page or the selected visual. Okay, so if I select from here the selected visual, I'm gonna do the same thing again. I'm gonna drill down quarter two of 2020. You see, it does nothing to the other visualizations. Now, let me switch this back to entire page. Now, what if I do want this drill down to work for the cards, but not for the tree map? What you can do then is to go to format and then edit interactions. And then here we can change how this visualization interacts with the two cards. So we have the bar chart selected. I went to format, edit interactions. And then here we can just say, do not filter this card and do not filter the forecast card, okay? So edit interactions gives you full flexibility of how this specific visualization interacts with all of the other visualizations that are on this report. So we have seen how the drill down feature works. Now let's also have a look at drill through. Drill through also lets you explore your data in more detail. However, now the detailed view you're gonna put on a different page. So let's have a look how that works. So we're gonna need two pages. One page that will serve as the main overview page and one page which will contain more details that we wanna see about our data. Now for the main page, we're gonna use the report page from before and we're gonna use this page for our detail view, where we show more details for, let's say, a certain subcategory. Now to know which subcategory we are drilling through on, I created here a card visualization and I'm gonna put the subcategory onto this card. Now at the moment, we have not drilled through on any of the subcategories, so it just shows the first one, which is Bluetooth headphones. Now to turn on the drill through feature, you have to be here in the field section and all the way at the bottom we have the drill through section where we can add the fields that we want to use for drill through. Now in our case that's going to be the product subcategory I'm going to put it on there and when you do this you enable the drill through functionality and this also means that if you want to go back to the main page the main overview page you can use this button that has automatically been added for you. Now, instead of putting it here, I want to have it here in the top right corner. Let's make it a little bit smaller. All right. 
and let's see if this works. Okay, so I'm gonna switch to the main overview page and let's take the tree map as our example here. So I'm gonna right click on laptops, then go to drill through, and here you see the name of the details page, which I called details. And this brings us to the details page. And you see now that we have the sales for the subcategory laptops. And if I wanna go back, I can use the button in the top right corner, just control click on it, and it brings me back to the main page. Now let's give this another try for projectors and screens. I'm gonna right click, drill through, and then let's click on details. And you see now the details for projectors and screens. Now here you can also decide if you want to keep the filters that you have on the page from which you do the drill through. Now simply be here on the details view and then go to keep all filters and turn it on or off. Now if we have this one on and I go back to the main overview page and let's say I go and select a specific store, let's go for Amsterdam and I form the same drill through as before, right click, drill through, details, now it shows the sales for projectors and screens, but only for the Amsterdam store because I put on the keep all filters button here on the right hand side. Now, a few more things about drill down and drill through and from where you can perform these operations. So drill through, we just did by right clicking on a certain subcategory and then going to drill through. Now, instead of that, you actually can also select the visualization, go to data drill, and then from here, turn on the drill through feature. Now, what does this do? Well, instead of right clicking, you can now left click and you see drill through will pop up. Now, if this one is not checked and you click on a certain subcategory, what happens is that it uses the filter or highlight feature. Now, so it filters or highlights everything for projectors and screens. If I click now on laptops, it does the same thing, but now for laptops. And if we go to the bar chart visualization where we have a hierarchy, we can go to data drill and use drill up, drill down, expand like to next level, which is the same as you find here in the top right corner or when you right click on that visualization. I hope this video gave you a good overview of how to use drill down and drill through. If you wanna learn more about Power BI, consider subscribing to this channel or give it a thumbs up. Thank you and see you in the next video.